Testing microphone check one, two, three. Councilor Fortini, checking in. Councilor Fortini, you're coming through clear. Thank you.
Good evening, Councillor Fortini. Can we just test your mic? Yeah, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Thank you. Oh. Councillor Fortini, you're coming through clear. Thank you.
Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the Planning and Development Committee meeting. I'll do a quick roll call. Deputy Mayor Singh. Present. Councillor Santos. No. Councillor Vincente. Present. Councillor Corbra. Councillor Keenan. Present. Councillor Medeiros. Councillor Fortini. Present. Councillor Tour. Councillor Power. Present. So just to note, the people that are not here, to shame them, is Councillor Santos. We'll check again. Which is not like her. Councillor Corbra. Councillor Medeiros. Councillor Tour. We do have quorum. Uh, at approval of the agenda, any members like to add, remove, delete, change, anything that has to do on the agenda today? Councillor Keenan. Okay. Uh, thank you and through you, Mr. Chair. I'm just going to ask that we defer item 7.2, the zoning bylaw amendment for 2 Bartley Bull. Um, and, and the reason for it is in, in conversation with uh, quite a few of my residents today, um, even though they signed a um, petition, uh, they were not notified about the meeting. So I just want to give my residents the time uh, needed to come out and uh, delegate if, if that is their wish. So I ask that uh, we move this to the Planning and Development Committee on June 17th at 7 p.m. Okay, um, I'll ask, how many names were on the petition, Councillor? I was told it was over 100. Over 100 names, okay. Um, if we have emails then, could we maybe uh, get those out to, or re resend uh, by way of email, while well, we have time to mail, do another mail out as well. So we'll do that. So just let it, anybody know in the audience that <clears throat> Councillor Keenan is about to defer um, the staff report application to amend the zoning bylaw Bose Fields Inc., Litwell Willow Holdings Limited, to Bartley Bull Parkway, Ward 3, to June 17th. Councillor Keenan feels that um, not a lot of residents were notified, and he's going to work with staff in his office to try and notify uh, more of the residents. So, again, that's the application to amend the zoning bylaw for 2 Bartley Bull Parkway. Ward 3. He's looking to defer that to um, June 17th. Anything else? Seeing none, been moved by Councillor Keenan, the approval of the agenda as amended. All in favor? That carries. Again, that item now has been deferred to June 17th to Bartley Bull Parkway, the zoning bylaw um, for Litwell Holdings Limited, Ward 3. Thank you, Councillor. Declaration conflict of interest. Are any members like to declare a conflict of interest? Seeing none. Our consent agenda. Before I go to the consent agenda, I'm going to just quickly ask, is there anybody here to delegate on the proposed site-specific amendment to the signed bylaw 399-2002 as amended rail bridge overpass banner signs Ward 1, 3, and 8. I'll ask again, is there anybody in attendance today or online that would like to delegate on the site-specific amendment to the signed bylaw 399-2002 as amended, rail bridge overpass banner signs, Ward 3 and 8. I'll ask for that item to be in consent. Seven point two will be held for staff. No, sorry, seven point two was just deferred. And seven point three will be held for staff. And there's a correspondence eleven point one. Correspondence from Nando Anika, regional chair, CEO, the region appeal dated April twenty second, twenty twenty four, City of Mississauga's major transit station area official plan. Amendments 142, 143, 144, and 146. 
regional staff review updates and recommenda recommendations. Consent. So 11.2, correspondence application to amend the official plan and zoning bylaw Glen Schnarr and Associates, 1354161 Canada Inc., 8654 Mississauga Road, Ward 6. From Maureen Fotley, Brampton residence, dated May 6, 2024. Consent. 11.3, correspondence application to, we'll actually ask that for that one to be deferred as well, Councillor Keenan. That's uh, correspondence for for two Bartley Bull. Yeah. So I'll ask that that be included in that motion of deferral. That's the consent agenda. Moved by Deputy Mayor Singh. All in favor? That goes. Our first item is the statutory public meeting. We have a staff presentation, application to amend the official plan, zoning bylaw, and draft plan of subdivision, Glen Schnarr and Associates, CSCW 20. 84 Venture Inc. Venture Inc. Ward 10. Is there anybody in attendance today that would like to hear a staff presentation on the application to amend the official plan and zoning bylaw, draft plan of subdivision, Glen Schnarr and Associates, Ward 10? I don't have a, do I have an address? Yes, I do. 10742, 10778, 10786, Clarkway Drive and Zero Countryside Drive. Is there anybody in attendance today that would like to hear a staff presentation? Or anybody online? You'd like to hear a staff presentation? Thank you. Item 5-2, staff presentation, application to amend the official plan and zoning bylaw, Ganyon Walker Domes, on behalf of 2391057 Ontario, Inc., Zero Father Tobin Road, Ward 9. Is there anybody in attendance today that would like to hear a staff presentation for item 5.2, amend the fish application, amend the official plan and zoning bylaw for zero father Tobin road ward nine. Anybody in attendance, anybody online that item is adjourned. Now we'll go back to the staff presentation. We'll ask Arjun Singh, Planner Development Services, to come up and give the staff presentation application to amend the official plan and zoning bylaw, draft plan of subdivision, Glen Schnarr and Associates, Venture Inc. CL5R Inc. CSCW740 Inc. and CS0 Zero Inc. 0006 Venture Inc. Or 10. If people can also come up with more clever names for the organization, that'd be good. Thank you. Thanks, Sergeant. Go ahead. Good evening, Chair, Vice Chair, members of committee, members of the public, and city staff. My name is Arjun Singh, and I'm the planner assigned to process and review the subject application. The purpose of the public meeting is to provide information to the public and seek feedback on the application filed by Glen Schnarr and Associates on behalf of uh, CSCW2084 Venture Inc., CL5R Inc. C CSCW740 Inc. and CS0006 Venture Inc. Uh, next slide, please. Subject property is located in Ward 10 at 01074210778 and 10786 Clarkway Drive, as well as Zero Countryside Drive in the northeast part of Brampton. The near nearest major intersection is Countryside Drive and Clarkway Drive. Next slide, please. This slide shows an overview of the site. Surrounding land uses include to the north is agricultural lands and Countryside Drive, beyond which is St. John's Road and a subdivision consisting of estate residential homes. To the south is agricultural lands, beyond which are lands subject to active development applications, generally consistent with the block plan for the area. To the east is Clarkway Drive and agricultural lands, beyond which are lands subject to active development applications, generally consistent with the block plan for the area, further beyond which are lands contemplated as industrial. To the west, agricultural lands and lands subject to active development applications, generally also consistent with the block plan for the area. The parcels also maintain frontage on Countryside Drive and Clarkway Drive. Next slide, please. This slide shows a further overview of the subject site and surrounding land uses and developments. Next slide, please. A site visit was conducted on April 16th. Photos from the visits are shown on screen. Next slide, please. 
This development application is proposing to permit a draft plan of subdivision consisting of residential, open space, and institutional uses. Further details include a total residential unit count of 273 units consisting of single detached units and townhouse units, 0.54 acres dedicated to an elementary school block, 2.1 acres dedicated to a park block, 14.58 acres dedicated to natural heritage system and associated buffers, compensation areas, and walkways, 10.33 acres dedicated to road and road widenings. Next slide, please. This slide shows examples of the residential product being proposed, being single detached and townhouse forms. Next slide, please. Prior to finalizing recommendations to council, this application will be further evaluated for consistency with the Planning Act, Provincial Policy Statement, and conformity with the Growth Plan for the Greater Golden Horseshoe, Region of Peel Official Plan, City of Brampton Official Plan, as well as the Highway 427 Industrial Secondary Plan. Next slide, please. The official plan designates the properties for residential and open space. The residential designations permit a full range of dwelling types, ranging from single detached houses to high-rise apartments. Complementary uses shall be permitted, including schools and daycare centers. The proposed residential and institutional uses fall within the residential designation. The open space designation on Schedule A also indicates major open space features. These features include public and private open space, valley lands, watercourse corridors, wetlands, and woodlands. To facilitate this development and the requested uses, an amendment to the official plan is required. Next slide, please. Sorry. On November 1st, 2023, City Council adopted the City of Brampton's new official plan titled Brampton Plan. Brampton Plan is currently with the Region of Peel for review and approval as they remain the approval authority for local official plan amendments. Subject site is designated as community areas and natural heritage system on Schedule 1A, City Structure. Next slide, please. Subject lands are located within the Highway 427 Industrial Secondary Plan, Area 47. The current designation in the secondary plan is Valley Land, Executive Residential, Low Density Residential, Neighborhood Park, and Medium Density Residential. Under Section 5.1.2.1, the areas designated Executive Residential on Schedule SP47A are considered to have appropriate characteristics to accommodate the development of a successful upscale executive housing community. As the applicant is proposing to increase the density in the lands designated as executive residential and low density residential, therefore an amendment to the secondary plan is required. Next slide, please. Subject property is zoned agricultural and agricultural, agricultural special section 1520 under the zoning bylaw. A zoning bylaw amendment is required to permit the development. Next slide, please. The proposed official plan amendment will redesignate the subject site from executive residential to special policy area and redesignate the lands as shown as low density residential to medium density residential in the Highway 427 secondary plan. Next slide, please. The proposed zoning bylaw amendment will permit the rezoning of the subject site from agricultural and agricultural special section 1520 to residential single detached, residential townhouse, institutional, floodplain, and open space zones. The residential and institutional zones will maintain specific provisions. Next slide, please. Key issues and considerations. The, the appropriate configuration of the medium density block along Clarkway, given the site constraints being lot size, restrictions due to environmental constraints, and vehicular access. The appropriateness of providing exceptions to the executive residential designation within the SP47 secondary plan. Implications of the requested changes on adjacent landowners and future development applications within the SP47 Area 2 block plan. Next slide, please. The application was filed with the city and deemed complete on May 24, 2022. The application was circulated to commenting departments and agencies. We are now at the public meeting stage. The next steps in the application are staff will continue to review the application, including reviewing comments from the public and technical comments, advance a final recommendation report to council for a decision, Issues raised will be addressed in the recommendation report. Staff will also contact and follow up with those residents who have spoken, written in, or advised of an interest in monitoring this proposal. Next slide, please. The development application can be accessed by the public through Brand Plan Online. Through Brand Plan Online, members of the public can click Search for an Application link, then type the file number for the application in the required field, which in this case is OZS 2022-0015. This brings up the file page where by clicking the file info tab will allow all drawings and documents associated with the development application to be reviewed. Next slide, please. The report associated with tonight's meeting is available online. The presentation will also be available online shortly. 
Once again, my name is Arjun Singh. My contact information is posted on the screen, along with the contact information of the applicant, Mark Candelo from Glen Schnarr & Associates, who's representing the landowner. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself, my manager, or the applicant. Thank you kindly and have a great evening. Thank you very much, Arjun. You did better with those numbers for the companies than I did, so good job. Um, are there any questions, anybody in the audience that would like to come down and delegate on this item? No, you have to come down. You have to state your name for the record. You have to sign into the book. You have to give us your first and second born. I didn't like that one. Welcome, sir. Please state your name for the record. Uh, my name is Armando Ricci. I, I live on uh, Kerry Court, which is of St. John, and my backyard is on countryside. So I'm really, for information's sake, I wanted to understand how this is going to impact the area where I live. And I see considering the density that is going to increase in that area. What are the uh, infrastructure timing and what is going to happen? Like most of this is going to be on, on Clark Way. So is they going to widen the Clark Way? Are they going to, uh, together with, uh, along with this uh, approval of this uh, plan? And uh, countryside also, there's going to be a lot of infrastructure that needs to be built there. Is the timing of this along with this timing of infrastructure? Because countryside is becoming uh, as you know, at times uh, we can barely move there at uh, uh, rush hour time and morning and afternoon. So these are some of the concerns. And uh, I'd like to know more. Maybe I'll, I'll call them uh, to ask more where the most density is going to happen, whether it's going to countryside or, or Clark Way. So I, I need to learn more about this. But these you. are my questions. No, thank you very much for your questions. Just to let you know that um, because you've delegated, staff will uh, send you information and um, your questions will be captured in the staff report when it comes back to planning committee with the recommendation report and you'll be notified of when that comes back to planning as well. Okay. Okay. And, and like I'd, always... I'd like to get... Uh, you, you're the guy that spoke? Thank you. Well, that's his boss. So the... <laughs> Um, and you have two wonderful counselors for the area that uh, are always here for any calls that uh, you want to reach out as well. You have the deputy mayor of the city. So Thank you. Excellent. Thank Can you. you just sign your, you have to sign in just behind you with the lovely lady there. Is there anybody else that would like to come down and delegate on this item? Seeing none, I, but I will ask one more time. Is there anybody in the audience say that would like to come down and delegate? Move receipt, Deputy Mayor. Sure. All in favor? That carries. Our next item is 7.3, and I'll turn it over to um, Commissioner Ganesh uh, to provide some comments. Sure. Uh, thank you through you, the Chair, um, <clears throat> Council, and uh, those listening in the audience might recall this matter was uh, brought forward on the April 8th Planning and Development Committee as a recommendation report and at that committee <clears throat> staff were directed to uh, work with the applicant to address some concerns uh, safety concerns in particular along Mississauga Road this particular site is located almost right at the top of the crest of Mississauga Road as you pass Terrace on the Green um, I'm pleased to say that um, uh, oh, since April 8th, uh, up until uh, last Friday, staff have been working internally with our community services team and the applicant and have come to an agreement to uh, work with the applicant uh, and internal staff to shift the access to uh, lands owned by the city to the west of the subject property and potentially work with uh, development that uh, may occur to the north of the property as well uh, to make an access that would be more conducive from a safety perspective. So the, the report you have before you tonight is simply a bit, bit of an information report on the status of that. I would ask though that um, staff receive direction to amend the draft zoning bylaw that was brought forth to committee on April 8th to remove reference to access to Mississauga Road. 
So that way, when we bring forward the enacting zoning bylaw to the next uh, council meeting, it can better reflect the discussion staff have had with the owner to that effect. So okay. we would need per direction from council. Perfect. And Steve, I'll just say thank you to all your staff that worked on this. Much appreciated. And I know in my heart this will save lives because that's a dangerous stretch of road. Um, we need uh, anything to go to council or do we need that to come directly from council, that amendment to the recommendation? Through the chair, we do need that direction to come from council. Okay, so if we can um, highlight the wording of the commissioner so that we can have that. Um, come to council for for council to put that uh, to ratify that um, and amend the bylaw as well at that time okay perfect no need to move anything staff, that's staff direction item 8.1 minutes active transportation advisory committee any comments questions Seeing none, Councillor Power, you'll move the Active Transportation Advisory Committee minutes. All in favor? That carries. There's no other business. There's no referred or deferred matters. All correspondence was dealt with through consent. Councillor, question period. Any members have any questions that relates to anything on the agenda today? Seeing none, anyone online? Seeing none. We have public question period. This is an opportunity for public to come down and ask any questions that were related to on the agenda here today. Uh, thank Please you, Mr. Chairman. Name for the record. Uh, Jason Afonso, Glenn Schnarr and Associates, here on behalf of uh, Umbria Developers. Just with respect to the last item that was raised, item 7.3, I note, note that there are two recommendations tied to the supplementary report. Uh, Mr. Chairman, it seemed to me that you had advised that there was uh, no uh, motion required. Uh, is it safe to say that, that uh, the recommendations uh, recommended in this staff report have been approved or carried? It's essentially been, well, this was an information report, as the Commissioner had said. Um, so the information that came here today is uh, going to Council on, do we have a date? May 14th. What's that? You I would say May 14th. <laughs> May 14th. So but next week, next that's committee this Wednesday. So right, May 14th. And at that time, we'll amend the recommendations of the staff report and then approve that and change the bylaw. Yeah. Thank, you very, Thank okay? you very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you very much. Anybody else like to come down and ask any questions? Seeing none, there's no closed session. We have adjournment. It's been moved by Councillor Vincente. We adjourn. Our next regular scheduled meeting is Monday, May 27th, 2024 at 1 p.m. Yeah? We haven't cancelled that? We cancelled June 3rd. Okay. There's a chair. And, That's right. And that will... Sorry? That'll be... The May 27th has been changed to 7 p.m.? says 1 p.m. Yes, 17th has been changed from 1 to 7. We still have a planning meeting May 27th that I'm now going to be asking the our deputy mayor to be chairing. It's been moved by Councillor Power that we next we adjourn and meet on Monday 20, May 27th at 1 p.m. to be chaired by Deputy Mayor Singh. All in favor? That carries. Have a great evening, everybody.